You are now locked in to the latest and the greatest on the Android system. This is the channel that gives you information every day and every way possible. Now all you have to do is hit the like button on your way in and hit the bell as well. And check out the full catalog of videos that I made just for you. It's your boy Serrano and I'll see you right after these quick messages. yo what's good everybody welcome back to another video now i definitely want to give my thanks appreciation and the privilege and honor of unboxing this device here for new mobile and thank you again for them for sending this device out now we're going to review it and right now we're going to unbox it so make sure you stay tuned <laughs> give this phone its first opening right here and just place this off to the side now what we could see right here is what we're greeted with and let's just go ahead and get this closer so right here you can see it says the G1 let's go ahead and take that out now what we have here is um, a thank you right here it says thanks for choosing new mobile happy with your new mobile phone leave us a Amazon review and visit the new mobile product page on Amazon uh, so that's pretty cool they have their um, social media right here which is really dope um, so just big shout out to new mobile for actually sending this device out let's go ahead pull this out and just give a feel in the hand now the build quality is actually really good it feels really solid and right here you can see that gray color now it does have a really nice grippy back to it so this thing isn't slippery whatsoever it has a really nice um you know um back cover which is definitely feels non-slip and which, which is really good the fingerprint sensor the new branding right here with the um, 8 megapixel camera also you do get flash with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top USB charging right here and then you do have at the bottom the microphone which is pretty cool and just keep in mind this does have a 5000 milliampere battery the weight is pretty nice not too heavy but you know a little bit um, you know, of a premium feel definitely feels like a nice piece of um, a hardware right here. So uh, I'm definitely liking how they have the rounded edges right on the sides, which is really cool. And, um, you know, overall, the build does look good. Let's go ahead and read some of the specifications right here. So you can see it does say 18 by 9 ratio. You're also getting a 5.7 uh, display inch display um, HD plus 1440 times 720 with the MediaTek 2 I'm sorry 1.28 gigahertz quad core processor uh, 4G LTE 1 gig of RAM 16 gigs of ROM a fingerprint and a 5000 milliampere battery so really excited about this now let's just go ahead and remove this first uh, sticker here from the front um, and the screen does look really nice now you do get minimal chin and minimal forehead so I like how you know that looks so far definitely nice glass on here which looks really good and I like how the screen is sunken into the edges of the device right here and it looks really solid you can see uh, the power button right here with the volume rocker right there and also your earpiece for making phone calls so that looks like it's gonna be pretty clear and loud and also the 5 megapixel camera all right so let's just see what else comes in the box along with this you do get let's just go ahead and flip this panel up and pull this down and 
right now we're getting greeted with a case is the first thing which is actually pretty cool let's just go ahead pull that out and take it out of the package go ahead put this on the phone and see how that feels and wow that actually fits really good and it does actually look really nice you could still see the back um, which is pretty cool so let's just put that off to the side again and see what else came inside and you also do get a screen protector so let's just see uh, right here is the screen protector that's tempered glass uh, which is actually plastic but they call it tempered glass and then you do get the uh, start up guide right here to get you started all the instructions you'll need so let's just put this off to the side right now and then go ahead and take out this charging cable which right here I can see it is a USB cable so that's actually pretty cool now let's just see uh, the charging brick now I definitely want to open this up and take a look at actually what's inside um, right here so we could see so it does say um, uh, 50 uh, slash 60 uh, Hertz um, and 5 volts 2000 milliamps so that sounds like it's gonna give us some really good fast charging uh, put that all to the side and that's actually everything that's included as a groove right here on the side where you can actually remove the 5000 milli-hour battery so right now I'm going to attempt to put my finger here in this groove and there comes the, the plastic off of the phone let's just get this off real nice and smooth on all corners and there we go now we have removed now you can see sim slot 1 right here and slim sim slot 2 with the camera 8 megapixel and fingerprint and uh, also an additional SD uh, expansion right here and you can see that the battery is actually has screws bolted in so it's non removable unless you screw take the screws out and um, buy another one and you know unscrew and screw it back in so I guess that's pretty cool that they do have that option there and um, so this, this battery is really big as you can see so that's actually um, a pretty cool feature now let's just give the um, new mobile G1 its first boot up right here you can see new uh, powered by Android Go edition right here so that's actually pretty cool the screen is actually really bright as you can see um, so that's actually really good uh, let's just wait for that screen to actually load up and you can see some animation right here that does actually look pretty cool um, and then there you go the new logo right there then it says hi there so basically choose start and you get a nice little sound effect and it's actually at a hundred percent which is pretty cool um, so this, this says uh, connect to the mobile network right there's no sim inside so we're gonna go ahead and skip that um, and then we're going to go ahead and see um, connection to the Wi-Fi. So right now you are getting 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is cool. Um, the screen actually does look really bright. Um, so we'll, let's just wait and see till we're in the main screen right here. Let's go ahead and skip Wi-Fi for now and then just continue. Um, it says just one second. So let's just go ahead. It says set the time and date. We're going to... Um, you know sec select next just um, skip everything right here uh, now you can actually see it's gonna give us the access to the fingerprint which is pretty cool so let's just go ahead and it says create a pattern so let me just pause the video while I create a pattern alright so now it says touch the sensor on the back of the phone right now and you sh with your index finger so I'm gonna go right ahead and um, initiate a fingerprint now that fingerprint uh, is deep you can't you could barely touch the bottom of the fingerprint let me just show you what I'm talking about 
um, we'll click next and then you can see right here there is some like um, you know it goes down further than you know I've, I've ever seen which is uh, I guess that's pretty cool there's like it's like pretty deep inside the phone so when you're touching the fingerprint you actually gotta press in there to get your finger so that's cool nice and secure now let's just go and uh, so you're not gonna hit it by accident or anything like that so it says agree to um, terms and conditions and then no thanks so we're almost ready to go right now and then boom there's the beautiful screen right there the HD actually it's 720 uh, HD plus and that looks really good um, just looking at it for the very first time those colors look really nice and let's just bring this a little bit closer and you could see that the, the app tray was jumping right there telling us to go into it. Now you can see we're greeted with assistant, calculator, uh, calendar, camera, chrome, clock, clock contacts, downloads, uh, files go, radio, gmail, google go, maps go, messages, phone, photos, music, um, play music, and play store as well as settings, a SIM toolkit, and sound recorder, as well as YouTube. So actually a really stock experience. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, see what the operating system is right here and just look at the storage really quickly. So let's just go. You can see, wow, I like how it's at the full battery right out the box. Here you can see the storage, only 21% use, so 3 gigabytes, which is nothing. And that's actually really cool. So we're going to get a lot of storage with the 16 gigabyte um, version model here. Let's just go ahead and see the dialer. And you can see right here, you can get your stock dialer, which is pretty cool. The brightness is actually almost all the way up. Let's just turn that a little bit further down just so you could see the video a little bit better on the screen okay so now um let's just go out and go into contacts so right here you got google contacts and then you got messages right here so you can actually set up a message and right here you can go to the keyboard and the emojis so look at the emojis right here um as you can see they look really good and um yeah i like these emojis a lot definitely appreciated let's just go ahead and um work our way back down to um the settings and let's just go ahead and check out um system right here and we're gonna go into about phone whoa android 8.1.0 which is pretty cool so it's definitely awesome we're going to connect it to the internet on the next video and the wi-fi and download some applications and get a little review of this phone going but right now i'm really impressed 1440 dot times 720 display is looking it's really vibrant um you know and i love stock android so that's actually cool right now it's really smooth so let's see if we can get some multitasking going right here and you know maybe drag drag up an application so right now um you don't get the dual window it seems like right here i'm not able to drag and swipe up for dual window maybe if i long press right here i'll get the dual window and okay so android go is basically set up for you know simple stuff so it's not going to give you you know like a bunch of windows to work with this is basically you know you, you if you want to go to another window you're just going to go to the recent apps and click the next window and you know you don't you won't get the dual window but this is actually really smooth right now it feels really clean when i'm you know going from app to app so i'm liking the android go so far um you know that's pretty much optimized for you know really good performance with that you know one gigabyte of ram obviously it's gonna um you know perform pretty decent so we're gonna test that out right here you can see when you go out to the network and internet you can see you have hotspot sim cards vpn and airplane mode 
work your way down and you can see connected devices such as Bluetooth and printer also you do get um, apps so you can actually go to advanced and get some other permissions uh, work your way down and you can see gestures but also battery so battery gives you um, intelligent power right there battery saver percentage right here and you can check out um, how long your battery screen on time and you know how many hours you've been going for uh, since the, the last charge and then right here you can see there's some gestures so it says press the power button twice for camera and that's on and then it says smart wake so um, you know you can wake the screen when you spell out a word and um, like on the screen when it's locked and so like if I put E and um, Chrome and then I just turn this on let's see Chrome enable it first right there so now let's do that and just make an E and then check this out um, put the fingerprint in and then now Chrome is open so that's really cool. Um, I like this little this phone right now. It's really good. It actually feels really good in the hand. It's the perfect size actually, and um, the bezels look really nice on the display. Let's just long press and see if we can get some more wallpapers right here. So let's just go to wallpapers one time. All right. So let's go ahead and check out some wallpaper right here, and let's just go to the wallpapers right here and take a look at some of the different wallpapers on the screen now those do look really good um i'm definitely liking the uh the display quality it looks really good um so you can go get widgets right here and those look pretty cool also home screen settings right here um and we're going to get into more detail with this phone and check out some of the capabilities that it does have as far as um, the battery life. Because this phone is for people that are actually, um, you know, people that use their phone a lot for media content and, you know, reading books, listening to music and watching movies and everything like that. Well, um, basically, one of the things that this phone has is a, a nice 18 by 9 ratio on the screen. Uh, let's go feel, see how quick that fingerprint sensor is really quick. So that's actually pretty fast. So it takes about a second or so. Um, right here, so you can see you know it's pretty quick pretty responsive now G new um new mobile G1 has the ability to um as advertised game for 9 hours or 15 hours straight of video or 17 hours straight of social media 20 hours straight of ebooks um also 50 hours talk time 120 hours recording video and 160 hours um listening to music now let's just go ahead into the cameras and just check out some of the features right here you do have a flash on the on the rear which has auto or, or off or on or auto hdr on or off you could switch the camera right here and um, there's no flash on the front right here um, let's see right here you get video and picture um, so let's just see when, once you click picture you also get this option right here to get some cool effects um, so that's pretty cool and in video you can actually uh, get the same type of effects on the camera so you know nothing too crazy 
Uh, let's go ahead and swipe across, see if any other settings appear. Um, so you're getting touch to focus, which is cool. Let's go ahead and flip the camera back to the rear. And um, so, you, you know, you're getting some auto options here. You can actually adjust um, the aperture right here, which is cool. And you get video right there. I'm trying to find settings. I think it's this button right here. All right, so when you click this button right here at the top, you get normal and panorama mode. And then you can click this option here, which will give you electronic image stabilization Right here, you'll get scene mode, so you can have on, off, sunset, landscape, or candle light, which is pretty cool. Then you can change the video quality right here um, to full HD, which is 1080. We're going to keep that video quality at the um, 1920 by 1080, because that's pretty cool. Um, and then right here, you can see you got you know different settings for um, options here and then also anti flicker on or for auto um, 50 gig 50 hertz 60 hertz or off and then you got image properties right here so you can adjust those to your liking and then when you go to video let's just see or picture let's just see some of the options here you get um, so you get scene mode as well timer as well um, you could change so that's at the f four dot times four by three eight megapixel um, if you want the 16 by 9 you can change the settings there white balance and ISO and auto anti flicker and so that's pretty much it for the cameras um, we're gonna get into more detail with this phone and a whole lot more. I'm going to, you know, put some games on here and everything like that and all my apps on here and um, test this out in some more detail. So, so far, what I'm excited about this phone is how I can't get over how good it feels in my hand. Um, it's got this really nice, solid build quality and the phone is actually really solid. Um, I like how it's a little bit thicker than other phones right here. It gives it some heft. You could feel that weight. Also, the 5,000 milliampere hour battery. I'm really looking forward to seeing how long it'll last. Um, and we're, we're going to check that out and see um, how long the battery can last uh, with this large battery that can do a whole lot with a, a smartphone. So uh, looking forward to testing that out right here. You do get um, shortcuts when it's on lock screen and yeah, the display looks really good. I'm I'm liking the 720 plus display on here, and um, this 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 texture right here on the back just feels really good. It's like a rubber, um, and it doesn't attract any fingerprints, unlike a lot of phones today. Um, so it's gonna if this thing feels like it can take a lot, um, a lot of you know just uh if you're kind of rough with your phone i think this phone is built really well to handle that so yeah we're gonna get back um to you guys and you know do an update with the g1 the the, the new mobile g1 and um just check out some more details later um coming soon in an, in another video so make sure you just stay locked in uh, don't go anywhere. It's your boy Serrano. And make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending on where you are, have a great night. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next video.